Hey! The Finnish language is filled with beautiful, unique first names. But Finnish language can be also hard to pronounce because the names include a handful of vowels. Also, the normal or basic name rules don't seem to apply in the Finnish language. For example, when a name ends in the letter A, it's usually a girl's name in many other countries. But in Finland, Mika is a man's name ending with an A and Minna is a girl's name ending with an A. So you never know which, uh, which name is it. In this video I'm going to share with you 25 unique Finnish first names that connects you with nature or Finnish folklore. My name is Varpo and I'm your Finnish fairy godmother. I help you learn Finnish language and get to know Finnish culture. Oh, and by the way, my own name, Varpu, it is a nature-inspired name. It means a small branch. For example, all the berry branches in a Finnish forest are called Varpu. So for example, a blueberry branch would be Mustikan Varpu. Mustikan Varpu. If you like all things Finnish, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Let's talk about name-giving traditions in Finland. Many names actually literally mean something in Finnish, so it's very important to know the true meaning behind the name. Secondly, usually the name is given after the baby is born in Finland. Parents tend to keep it as a secret and it can be as late as in the official naming day that they reveal it. An ancient um, story here is in order because the belief uh, is coming from years and years back. And when I was discovering and reading about Finnish um, folks, folklore, I found it. So one explanation for this is that if you told the name of your baby beforehand, it was um, believed that this baby would be too talkative. I guess only Finns can come up with such a belief. Okay, some more ancient tidbits coming up. So uh, there were lots of various techniques that helped you determine the correct name for your baby. You could, for example, lift up the cradle when saying uh, some name potentials and then the cradle would feel light when the correct name came by. Other technique would be that you would soothe a crying baby and call them by the names and then when the correct name arrives then they stop crying. Finally, uh, let's talk about uh, passing on some family names. This tradition is still very much in place in Finland and you can definitely see names that are passed down from great parents or ancestors to newborn babies. In Finland um, the logic is so that babies have their first name but they also, everybody here, has two, one or two middle names. So in total you have to have two or three first names and then the last name. So what I believe many people do is that the ancestral names are often put as middle names, at least in modern Finland. Let's start with some girls' names inspired by nature. I'm going to say the name twice and then I'm going to say the literal meaning of the name and then I'm going to share my associations that come by with the name. So first one is Aamu. Aamu. This means morning in Finnish. I feel like this is a very energetic, magical name for a girl. Another name is Ilta. Ilta. This means evening. It is very sweet and a straightforward name to a girl. The third one is Tuuli. Tuuli. This one means wind, and I feel like this one is a wild child. Uh, another airy, light name is pilvi. Pilvi. This means a cloud in Finnish. 
Now let's move on to berries, trees and flowers. Those we have so many as women's name, names in Finland. First one is Hilla. Hilla. This is a cloudberry in Finnish. It also sounds like a very independent girl. The second one is Vanamo. Vanamo. This is a twin flower in Finnish. It's also my sister's name. So as you can see, my, my parents were really nature enthusiastic. The third one is Pihla. Pihla. And this is a coming from the word Pihlaja. And that means a rowan. That tree with, with red berries in the autumn time. Pihla. I feel like this one is a free soul. The next one is nuppu. Nuppu. This means a bud in Finnish. It's so adorable and so delicate name. Finally, sade. Sade. Literally, this means a ray. And for me, it means immediately the ray of light or ray of sun. Let's go through some boys' names that are inspired by nature. First, we have Pyrrhy. Pyrrhy. A fun name to pronounce, right? This means a very thick snow coming down from the sky. It actually doesn't mean that it's a snowstorm. It just means that it's thickly uh, snowing. Uh, this is a very powerful name in my opinion, and it's very popular, at least at the moment in Finland. The next one is Myrsky. Myrsky. And this means a storm in Finnish. This is a very individual, unique name. It's rare. Uh, it's also kind of really feels untamed. The next one is Havu. Havu. And this means a conifer in Finnish. Another unique boy's name. The next name is Arne. Arne. There is a small debate on the origin of this name. It can be either coming from eagle uh, in other languages or it can be coming from ancient mythology because Arne means the guardian of a treasure in ancient Finnish mythology. Next one is Otso. Otso. This means a synonym for the word bear in Finnish. Not to be mistaken or confused with the word Otsa, which means forehead in Finnish. Otso. This is a super powerful name because Bear is the king of the forest and it has so many powerful associations in the Finnish language and culture. The next one is Kuutti. Kuutti. This means a baby seal and it's a very rare but sweet boy's name. Finally, we have Otava. Otava. This means the Big Dipper, so it is an astro astrological name and somehow it feels very powerful, uh, at least in my head. And it is coming a very trendy name, you can see it a lot in Finland nowadays. Let's go through some Finnish girls' names inspired by folklore. First, we have Lempi. Lempi. This means love and specifically romantic love. This name has been uh, there existing for so, so many years. It is one of those really authentic ancient names. It has associations that connect it to being gentle, kind-hearted, and it also sounds a bit old-fashioned in modern Finland. Next, it's Vilja. Filia. 
This means the word grain in Finnish and uh, it's also connecting uh, to abundance and having loads of something. The third name connecting to Finnish folklore is Paju. Paju. And this means a willow in Finnish. So it's both folklore and nature inspired. As by the way, Vilga is too, now that I think about it. So back to Paju. Paju uh, is a tree that is really known for its resilience and it doesn't break. It's also a healing plant. Back in the day, for example, uh, it was used in the sauna. So people were whisking uh, each other or, or themselves with willow branches and it would help, for example, uh, when you were having back pains. Let's discover some Finnish voice names inspired by Finnish mythology. First we have Ahti. Ahti. This is the god of the sea or water in the Finnish mythology. Ahti you will see uh, in so many sayings in Finnish and it's a very popular Finnish name. It's powerful and definitely has that water element in it. Next one is Kauko. Kauko. This means kind of it derives from something in the distance. The distance element is here. Um, it was used in Kalevala, Finland's national epic. And it is a synonym for Lemminkäinen, one of the heroes of the epic. Lemminkäinen was a great warrior and also a great um, singer and a bit of a ladies man. The next one we have Tapio. Tapio. Tapio is the ancient god of the forest in Finland uh, or in Finnish mythology. And it is a very powerful name too. It has all those good and powerful associations that connect uh, Finnish and uh, Finnish people and forests together. It's also one of those words that uh, is in the top 10 of all men's name names ever given in Finland. Finally, we have the name Viljo. Viljo. Going back to the origin word Vilja grain, connecting to abundance, as with the girl's name, but also Vilja was mentioned in Kalevala and it means a champion or the best. Wait, there is even more Finnish names. Some Finnish names are gender neutral. For example, Talvi. Talvi. This means winter in Finnish. Or Ruska. Ruska. This means the autumn foliage in Finnish. And also Myrsky that I mentioned earlier. This is a name you can give to a girl as well. Finally, as in so many other languages, you can give these names to a pet. For example, I know a dog named Varpo. There you have it. 25 unique Finnish names inspired by nature or folklore. Which name was the most interesting for you? I would love to know this in the comments. Also, if you want to learn more Finnish, I think you should check out my video about uh, saying I love you in Finnish. I'll show you 10 different ways to say I love you. Okay, it was so great to have you on board and see you in the next video.